Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today's video is going to be a Champ 1 replay analysis. So our friend here says, I have been hovering in Diamond 3 slash Champ 1 for a year. Ended up winning this game, but made a lot of mistakes. I am a non-mechanical player, trying to be patient, but watching it back I'm just slow. I also think I need help knowing when to cut for my teammate versus rotating back. I feel like I often expect a teammate to be somewhere and they are expecting me to stick on ball or vice versa. And he also goes on to say that this was his game back into champ one. So let's jump into it and discuss those issues. Okay, so we got Napo here. Now let's start off with the kickoff. Alright, good. Be careful when challenging in this corner, by the way. You don't want to get overcome you don't want to overcommit here because Something can go wrong in the corner, and your teammate is going to be last back. Remember, they're his second man, the blue team second man, could be anywhere, right? You're probably not paying attention to where he's at. For all you know, he could be ready over here, right? And he can go in and attack this ball, which he does. So, you're not back in time. It's okay to not challenge this, right? Look, the ball, you're already back here, right? You're already in this position. This position, sorry, I'm not sure if I said that wrong, but you're in this position, and he, the ball is clearly just going this way, and he's going that way too. So the ball is definitely in Dab's possession. But you want to respect this. You can challenge a little bit, but don't overcommit. You know, let him know that you're around, right? And if he misses the ball, you can quickly go in. But, you know, don't get so aggressive. Wait back here, right? And turn around. Right? And then he can go up. Hopefully land on the wall and hit this ball away into the corner. If he was a better player, you have gotten shitted on so bad. A better player would be able to, to hit this ball in for sure. But he just didn't control himself right. So, just keep in mind, when, when you challenge in the corner in general, and this is not just from kickoff, guys. This is in general. Do not overcommit in corners. Do not do that. The recipe for disaster... Alright, good try. Um, the reason why... It's okay to dribble this, but you're you're letting... Uh, there's a path where the ball can go if you 50 it, right? If he comes in contact with this ball right here, the ball is going to squeeze to the right. And that's exactly what happens, because you had the ball on the left side of your car. And look how dangerous this is. What happens if this rolled a little bit slower and he was already facing the play, right? Who just drove, drove it up and uh, slammed it in. So you got to be careful with how you dribble the ball and how you position your car behind the ball. If you want to dribble it, just go for the 50 chance. You know, just go for the 50. You know he's here. He's going to collide with the ball, right? So just take the chance. Be right here on the ball and take a low 50. Whether you do a, a little mini single jump or you use the side of your car, which has more surface area, which makes you more of a bigger target. So you, you should hopefully have more control over the ball. Good idea on the demos. Um, yeah, this demo works. Um, this one, yeah, it's good. Yeah, because they're both dead now. It's unfortunate your teammate cannot collect the ball in time. He ends up missing? What? What is he doing? Yeah, he. That, that's his problem. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Okay, you don't need to flip there, right? You just want to get some kind of touch that you can follow up with. So well, that was good, right? Hit the ball once with what you're doing here. And then keep driving. And then go after it again. You know what I'm saying? Just be annoying. Go after it again, but don't flip. Stay grounded and stay available in the play. That's unfortunate. You see, the, the thing is, look at Dab. He's definitely going to turn into you, right? He's going to want to demo you because you're the threat. You're going to be the guy in the ball. And the ball is on your side of the field. So if he gets a chance to demo you, it's going to be an easy scoring opportunity. You see how he thinks? His vision is so good. So this is immediately dangerous. Luckily, your teammate was back in time to block this. It almost worked. So be mindful of this type of scenario where you're the last man back. Your teammate is so far upfield now. Your last man back, but their first man is still able to get you. If you recognize this situation anywhere, 
be mindful of where he's at, right? You could go after this ball, but you hitting it like this slowed everything down. Just keep the ball on the ground. Just dodge into it so you roll it up the wall. Like, like flip into it earlier so the ball stays on the ground when you flip. Like kind of like a little mini pre-flip up the wall and, and just keep boosting so he doesn't catch you. So this almost, uh, it's almost failed here. Just be careful how you touch the ball. Okay. Let me review this. Review this again. This 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 is a little weird. Um. A part of me feels like you're too too far away, but honestly, it's not the worst positioning because you can cover for like, you know, his shot. But I feel like if you were closer, you'd be able to jump up and just eat him. By the way, I mean this this works too. It's just you gotta hope that he doesn't hit this ball. Because look, you're so overcommitted. If he hits this ball, it's for sure gonna go over your head. There's just no doubt about it. You know? So I feel like if you wanna play faster, which is what you said earlier, where you felt slow, you gotta know and give it a chance that the ball is gonna bounce off the wall. So you'd already be moving up here. You know, you gotta pace yourself, right? You gotta time it right. So for example, you're moving, right? Move up, right? Like this. And then jump up and go. Rather than just spinning in circles in your goal. Oh, that's... <laughs> Gotta work on those. But that's alright. I'm not really gonna be here, you know, uh, talking smack about your mechanics. I'm not concerned about people's mechanics, actually. I'm not gonna be a YouTuber who tells everybody to just keep working on mechanics. No, you... Mechanics will improve over time anyways, and I know you guys are going to be practicing it without me telling you to. You know, because mechanics are flashy and cool, and everybody wants to do it, so I don't need to tell anybody this. People really need uh, game sense and vision help, so that's what they need to work on. I, you didn't have to rotate back here. See, th this is the, the answer to what you said with um, rotating back or versus staying up as first man. Look where your teammate is, right? He's going away from the play, right? He's he's not even facing it. Just You have to look at him. You have to see what he's doing, right? You can, in fact, stay on this ball, right? Flip, turn around here, catch up the wall, boom it up, go up on the wall, jump up after the ball. That's it. That's all you needed to do. But you got to do this turning around thing quickly. You know, you, you got to... You even have to flip. You could just simply drive, you know? You have some boost. Why not just wave dash? Jump and then wave dash, right? Let your teammate know by your body language that you're staying in the play by being over here still, right? Just hit the ball around him right? and just do the rest of the play. It's when you have the space to do it is when you're allowed to stay up as first man. Like, right here? Yeah, you're done. You can leave. You don't have enough boost. You need to stay behind him. Okay? Get this ball away quickly now. You're lucky that he didn't hit this. If he hit this, this would have been really bad. Because, who knows? The ball could have squeezed out back this way. And nobody's there. That's fine. You're trying the little bump there. Okay, you hesitated. <laughs> I, this was perfect opportunity. Right here. Go after this. Why? It's not dangerous. This looks scary. I have to admit, it looks scary. But it's not. Because he's flipping. Right? He's flipping. You can't... I mean, he can't go after this ball anymore. He's stuck in an animation. He can't go after it. He can't go after it. He's too far away. So, quickly jump. Turn. Smack this ball over here. All you needed to do, but you just hesitated. I, I don't know. Maybe you're looking at the second, the the, uh, the first man over here, the one and only guy. But you have to you have to focus on the ball in this case. You know, you see that he flipped. He can't touch this anymore. It's over. You know, hit it away. So you're not analyzing. You're, all of the clues to winning your matches are in your games. But you need to have the right mindset and the vision to see these opportunities. And this is game sense. This happens 
when you either play a lot of hours or you watch replay analysis like this and um, you really analyze when you could and can't go after the ball, right? This is all game sense. This is all achieved uh, over time. But having somebody to replay you helps a lot because um, it's easier for somebody else to correct your mistakes. So I think in this replay, it's definitely clear what you should focus on. And I'm showing you examples. So it's really... Um, right now, it's your game sense is what's sucking. Okay, that could be a little better, but I'm not going to pick on that. Alright, you see, you gotta go. Why? You see him, right? Well, I mean, you are far away from the play. You kind of can't go after this. You have to look at him for a longer period of time. Like, you tried to look at him, but y you didn't look enough. Like, if you see that he's not going, quickly boost and turn around as fast as you can and just sprint, you know? I don't know why your teammate is just not going. He definitely could have, you know? He definitely can, and then you'd be back in time. He's. I think your teammate is being a little too passive, and that's what's confusing you. But you have to work with what your teammate has. Try to keep an eye on your teammate more, you know? I do say that you should understand your opponents when you play, but the first thing you gotta do as a player is position to where your teammate would want you to be. So focus on what his habits are. So we can already tell that he just doesn't challenge a lot. He's not aggressive, so you're gonna have to be more of the aggressive type. Okay. Oh, that would have been good if you hit that ball, but it's alright. Alright, take your time here. Yeah, you gotta keep this low. Because the problem is, he's already so close to the play. You know, see, he's already right here. You have to get some crazy quick flick, but you didn't do it in time. If when in doubt, just keep the 50 low. It's not that bad. Okay, you don't need to double jump here. You actually could have scored if you single jumped. Why? Single jump to the right? Hit it left with the power shot. Look, wide open here. He's facing the opposite way of this side of the goal. You could have easily dodged into the ball and slammed it into the left side of the net. Don't rely on double jumping so much. You, a lot of lower ranked players do this. They always double jump too often. You need to understand with game sense that the ball is actually reachable with one jump. Remember, focus on this. Always try to shoot with power. Most of the time, you know, just for like 90% of the time, hit the ball of power. So with that mindset, you're going to want to jump only once because how do you hit the ball of power? You dodge into it. Okay, you need to, you see how your teammate is still in the play here? Even if he wants to rotate, he's still, his rotation path is still in line with this play. So you're going to have to let him go. Right? Just I know this looks like your ball, but just turn around. Right? Turn back around again. And look, you can hopefully beat him to the ball. Or if not, then you can just choose a safer route and just go back as second man. That didn't go in? Oh, that's so close. Good try. Don't fully commit on this. Okay. Okay. Th here's another thing. Your touches, your first touches are not good. And I know I said uh, I'm not trying to pick mechanically, but I think first touches is a mechanic that people seriously need to get better at. You hit this ball way too hard, and then for some reason you turn back when you hit this ball. When you hit the ball and you want to keep going with the play... Pre-turn your car in a direction where you want to go. So you, let's say, for example, you want to hit this ball to the right and follow it up. Hit the ball up and turn your car right. Why are you turning back towards the goal? Turn the other way. So, instead of being in this position, the nose would be facing where the camera is. 
And then you'd be able to drive with it again. So you're taking too much time here. You're too slow. And this is what I mean. Like, you're slow because you're just not understanding how to do it. You know what I mean? You should know that that's how you're, su you're supposed to approach the ball. Okay, th this is... Wow, okay, that is a very ego challenge by your teammate there. That was definitely not a necessary challenge, but it works. Nice. This is fine. It stalls time for your teammate. Your teammate should be able to get this now. Nice. Wait for the clear from one and only. He's going to beat you to this, so just chill out. Nice. Nice. Good game sense. You got. You're gonna have to go. You, all right. I know what you're thinking. Where the hell is my teammate? I just say it, buddy. He's in their back corner. No, but he's <laughs> he's on their side. But so you see this once, right? You don't see him anywhere. Turn immediately to the ball. See, you're not thinking fast enough. You're not registering anything fast enough. You need to be quicker. Tell your brain to think faster, even though that's not really a possibility. At least not at least not immediately but make it a habit like you got to quickly analyze the field and make a decision quick you know what i mean i hate to say it but in, in rocket league rocket league is a game where you kind of don't have a lot of time to think and i know you guys know that because you guys always tell me that you feel slow and and you feel like you're slow because you can't make a decision <laughs> By the time you make a decision, the ball is already in your net. So I get it. I feel the same way when I verse SSLs. I feel stupid when I play. That's just because they're better than me with their vision. They're just faster and smarter. And SSL's mechanics compared to mine are the same. Right? But they're just faster. That's all the difference is. They see scoring opportunities better than I can. Don't go after this. Champ players make this mistake so often. Be realistic with your challenges. And I'm starting to say this a lot, right? You gotta be realistic. He can totally jump from this position and reach this ball. Don't underestimate your opponents, guys. Do not do that. You know the, the skull meme? Do not? Yeah. That's me right now. Oh my god. Okay, dude. You are literally handed this win from God himself. Because right now you're in the lead, and then you score again. Technically, if he blocked the shot, it would still be 1-1. One to one, Right? And then you score later in this video, right? Maybe it'll be 2-1 to one later. Well, actually, hold on. No, I'm stupid. Either way, you'd win, right? Because there's not enough time left, and who knows. Hopefully, you can defend for the next 16 seconds. Surely. And you guys do anyway, so... Never mind, scratch that, what I said before. But still, that was given to you, though. You don't want to win on luck. Trust me, that's not... Yeah, in the moment, it feels good, but... Do you really want to win off luck? I mean, that, that's kind of... You, you need to guarantee a win. That's when you know you're a really good player, is when you can make the wins yourself. You don't have to rely on random luck to win matches, or other people's... Uh, well, that was a mistake on his part. You should capitalize off their mistakes, but not something like that where he just own goals. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. So with you, just understand that you can't underestimate your opponents and that they can do a lot more than you think. You know, look out for your teammate more and where he's positioned. You know, try to analyze, um, you know, what he does as a player. What are his habits? Is he playing... Think very simple with your teammate, right? It's either two options. Is he playing fast or is he playing slow? That's it. That's all you need to figure it out, right? That's all you need to figure out. And from this case, he is not a ball chaser, right? He's proven to be very unreliable in this game. Let's see, for example, right? Right now, he's being pretty aggressive. So at first, you can think he's an aggressive teammate. Right? But you can't think that the whole game here. It's only 30 seconds, not even. Right? He's messed He's messed up with this shot. I don't know what that was. But you know what I mean? Like, you gotta you gotta analyze your teammate a little more. That's all. So, um, that would be it for this video. 
Um, if you need more clarification, then you can let me know. But um, you can always rewatch this video whenever you feel like it. And, um, you know, taking the concepts that I said earlier in this video. So um, I think I I think I explained things good. So you're definitely in the right track, though. Like, I'm not going to pick you on mechanics. That's fine, you know. Just focus on your game sets more. Go into your own replays and watch it from a new perspective. So using the tips that I've said, now go back into your other replays and see if you can spot the same mistakes. So um, yeah, so thank you so much for setting the replay. Hopefully this helps you and the other champs uh, in this video, uh, in this video, and uh, the viewers. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.